Hi, I'm Daniel Korshin, Associate Professor of Marketing here at Drexel. I'm also the Stephen Cozen Research uh, Scholar in Marketing here. Uh, my research is on corporate political activity. Uh, when companies get involved, uh, when they should, when they shouldn't, and most importantly, for at least my research focus, is how does it affect performance? Now, last week, uh, the Trump administration announced that they were going to rescind uh, DACA, which would send, uh, presumably, we'll see how it plays out, but, uh, but at the moment the fear is that it will send, uh, you know, potentially 800,000 people um, uh, to their uh, birth country or their home, their home country. Uh, there's a lot of resistance. Uh, there was, even before the announcement, 400 companies signed an open letter to the president uh, urging him to uh, keep it intact. Um, Microsoft was one of these. Um, when the announcement uh, was made by the government, by the, uh, by the Attorney General, uh, Microsoft and others continued to, to push and, uh, and uh, urge a reversal on this. Uh, Microsoft was one of the strongest uh, proponents uh, and supporters of DACA. Uh, not only did they uh, make some announcements on their blogs, uh, but they did it from multiple people. It was uh, the CEO, the president of the company, uh, and uh, even Bill Gates uh, was involved in, in uh, tweets and blogs. Uh, they also went a step further. They uh, said that they were going to provide support if any of the dreamers ended up in court. Uh, they were going to pay their, uh, their expenses and that they would support them with amicus briefs as well. Um, they took the additional step of speaking directly to Congress and urging Congress to tackle immigration reform before they look at tax reform, which is supposed to be the number one thing on their agenda right now. Um, now, the question is, should they be doing this? Have they gone too far? Uh, did they go far enough? Um, how much should they be involved? And how, do, how is this going to affect their business now that they've taken this very strong stand? Um, one of the things that, uh, that I do to, to study this uh, and um, to, to encourage a more like a scholarly uh, discussion about this is I run a poll. Uh, it's originated here at, at Drexel with the support of the Institute for Strategic Leadership. It's also supported by the um, American Marketing Association. And this poll, it's a panel of experts. It's over 40 scholars from Cornell, Princeton, University of Michigan, here at Drexel, um, you name it, we've got, we've got the, the leading experts on corporate identity and, um, and corporate reputation on this, on this panel. Uh, when a, periodically, when a company takes a stand like this with Microsoft, uh, I send out a very brief survey uh, with just a few questions where the, this panel of experts, it's all business school professors, they give a grade to the company, A, B, C, D, or F, uh, on how they're handling the issue. So not whether they agree with the issue or not personally, but how is the company dealing with this? Uh, is this, is managerially, is this the right thing for the company to do? I'll give you a moment to decide what you think Microsoft should be doing here uh, and whether they, uh, they over or underreached. Uh, but uh, when we, we sent this out, uh, we had um, most of the panel weighed in on this uh, we, um, what we found was uh, generally there was very supportive of it, uh, and the support was not so much linked to even the, um, the political leanings of the professor. So we, had, uh, we have left-leaning, right-leaning, and middle-of-the-road professors. The lowest scores came from the middle-of-the-road, who were a bit uneasy in how uh, Microsoft was, was reaching and even getting into the um, making recommendations to Congress on what they should do. Uh, the, uh, the right and the left leaning professors actually were very supportive and uh, we gave Microsoft an A for this uh, particular um, this series of events. Uh, we also have the professors grade the company uh, on a series of performance indicators, how much leadership they're taking, uh, so are they, are they setting an example or are they following other companies? Um, how consistent they are in their messages, both with like how consistent they are over time, and also um, and and like uh, how consistent each of their me are they sending like one unified message or not? Uh, how transparent and open they're being, and how material the decision is to the business. So is this something that matters for 
employees? Is this something that directly affects um, investors or customers? Uh, the, uh, the panel gave them a very high, so the highest scores were for leadership, for that aspect of it, that, they, uh, that Microsoft went above and beyond what other companies are doing. Where the other companies stopped with their letter and some announcements, uh, Microsoft uh, went out of their way to offer material help uh, to those dreamers uh, and, uh, and, and moved ahead of everyone else and is really leading the pack in urging Congress on how to deal this and really pushing how, uh, how important this is uh, for many of their employees. Uh, but I leave it up to you uh, in what you think this, uh, what you th whether you think Microsoft did the right thing, and in fact, whether other companies, you know, should be getting involved in this. Should they be taking leadership positions or not? Um, and this is really, this is where my research is going, is trying to understand uh, when is it the right thing to do, both morally, but also managerially, uh, performance-wise, is this the right thing to do um, or not? So I'll leave it there, I'll leave it open to discussion. What I'm going to do is, is provide some links in the discussion so that you can reach me if you have questions about any of the research or any of my findings. Uh, and I'm happy to continue the discussion both here and after the event today. Uh, enjoy the day and uh, so happy to connect with everyone from Drexel. Thanks.